Hello, I'm Troy Bockelman with the Cattlefax Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. You are free to gain more with Bovatech from Zoetis. Increase average daily gain without compromising feed efficiency or a step up program. Choose to gain more with Bovatech. Visit cattlefeedadditives.com today. Beef exports have underperformed relative to ex expectations so far this year. Now down 2.7% through July after three years of double digit increases. South Korea was the main driver in the increase in beef exports a year ago with nearly 40% growth in exports to this Asian market last year. South Korea is currently up 11%. As growth has slowed and another usually strong market, Japan is showing a 6% decline as the CPTPP countries have increased market share into this Asian country. Yet, there has been a recent announcement that an agreement in principle has been reached and is expected to be signed by the US and Japan. This would reduce the tariffs on US beef around 12%, which would place the US on an equal tariff level with other CPTPP members. Large slaughter levels in Canada has been met with decreased shipments north and increased beef imports from Canada. Mexico continues to be a strong trade partner, up 2% through July. Yet the main driver in the decrease in exports has been Hong Kong, down 33% year to date. Current expectations are for U.S. beef imports to be steady with a year ago, while beef exports are forecast to finish the year down 2%. Pork exports are up 2% through July, but with China battling African swine fever, the potential for pork exports to finish the year up 10% or more is likely. Speaking of China, in July, pork exports to China were heavy at 110 million pounds. This is compared to 19 million pounds a year ago. This was the largest single month since November of 2011. As African swine fever continues to spread throughout Asia and Eastern Europe, increased pork exports are expected which will likely support the hog and pork market in the fourth quarter at a time of record pork production. Total beef, pork, and poultry exports are now up 1% or 88 million pounds. It'll be important to continue to watch exports per protein, as well as in total, to determine the available supplies on the U.S. market, as supply and demand will determine the underlying prices. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real. The volatility is extreme. The risks are big, but the opportunities for success are there. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 50 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective. Our vision is global. Our focus is you. We provide a direct line of contact with you, our client, to the Cattle Facts team with our daily updated website, modernized mobile app, or the traditional phone conversation. Cattlefax, the deciding factor. Become a member at cattlefax.com.